Perpendicular lines. Since we have not yet explained the concept of perpendicular lines in geometry, it is not worth trying to analytically extract any rules that integrate the elements of these two lines in the same formula, as we have done in previous cases. Therefore, at this stage of the course, we will explain how two perpendicular lines relate to each other through a numerical example. First, let's explain what the term perpendicular means. Thus, two perpendicular lines, or segments, are intercepting lines, or segments, that form four right angles between them. As shown in the figure, we have the following shown on screen. The coordinate plane is the most outstanding example of perpendicular lines, where the two axes are perpendicular to each other. Indeed, the horizontal direction is perpendicular to the vertical one, and vice versa. Let's suppose that initially, we have two perpendicular lines x equals 0 and y equals 0 that obviously extend according the x and y axes respectively, as shown in the figure. We have the following shown on screen. It is evident that the two lines divide the plane, the flat surface where they lie, into four equal regions. In the coordinate system, these regions are known as quadrants. Thus, the upper right region, where both x and y are positive, is known as the first quadrant, the upper left region, where x is negative and y is positive, is known as the second quadrant, the bottom left region, where both x and y are negative, is known as the third quadrant, and the bottom right quadrant, where x is positive and y is negative, is known as the fourth quadrant. Now, let's rotate the two graphs by 1 over 8 of a rotation anticlockwise. Obviously, they still will be perpendicular to each other. The former horizontal line now will be sloped and will divide the first and the third quadrants into two equal regions each. On the other hand, the former vertical line will do the same thing in the second and the fourth quadrants, as shown we have the following shown on screen. Let's find the equations of the new lines obtained by such a rotation. The first thing that you will notice for lines L1 and L2 is that both of them pass through the origin, i.e. their x and y intercepts are zero. Therefore, both lines have the constant n equals zero and one of the points necessary to plot the graphs is the origin O, zero, zero. The other two points could be for example A, 5, 5, for L1 and B, 5, minus 5, for L2, as shown. Using the equation of gradient for the line L1 yields, we have the following shown on screen. And the gradient of the line L2 is, we have the following shown on screen. The equation of L1, therefore, is y equals 1x, or y equals x, and that of L2 is y equals minus 1x, or y equals minus x. In this way, we obtain two gradients with opposite signs. This occurs in all perpendicular lines. But, is there any formula that relates the two gradients with each other? For now, it is still unclear what kind of relationship the gradients of L1 and L2 have, as there is more than one option possible. We don't know yet whether the relationship between gradients in perpendicular lines is m1 plus m2 equals 0. M1 M2 equals minus 1, M1 over M2 equals minus 1, and so on. Well, to answer this question, we need to consider another pair of perpendicular lines. Thus, if originally we have two points A and B, one for each graph, with coordinates, say, A, 0, 10, and B, 10, 0, and we shift the graphs in such a way to make point A appear at, minus 4, 10, and B at, 10, 4. We obtain again two perpendicular lines, we have the following shown on screen. We did all this to be sure that we still got two perpendicular lines L1 and L2. Now, let's find the equation of each, new, line using the two points A and B and the origin O, 0, 0. Thus, the gradient of the new line L1, we have the following shown on screen. and the gradient of the line L2, we have the following shown on screen. 
Now, it is easy to identify the relationship between the gradients m1 and m2 of the two given perpendicular lines. Multiplying the two gradients yields, we have the following shown on screen. This is true for all pairs of perpendicular lines. For example, in the previous pair of perpendicular lines, where m1 was 1 and m2 was minus 1, we have the following shown on screen. In this way, we obtain the rule that gives the relationship between the gradients m1 and m2 of perpendicular lines. We have the following shown on screen. Example a. Find the perpendicular line to y equals 3x, 1 that passes through point A, 4, minus 5. b. Plot the two graphs in the same coordinates. Solution a. The gradient m of the line y equals 3x minus 1 is m1 equals 3. Therefore, the gradient of the unknown line perpendicular to it is m2 equals minus 1 over 3 because, from theory, we know that. We have the following shown on screen. We have the following shown on screen. This means that so far, the known part of the equation of the perpendicular line to y equals 3x minus 1, we have the following shown on screen. To find the value of n, we substitute the coordinates of point A, since it belongs to this line. Thus, for x equals 4 and y equals minus 5 we obtain we have the following shown on screen. Hence, the equation of the perpendicular line to y equals 3x minus 1 that passes through A, 4, minus 5, we have the following shown on screen. b. We can use the coordinates of x and y intercepts for the two lines to plot the graph. This allows us check the solution made in k. Let's find these points by filling the table we have the following shown on screen. Therefore, points p, 0, minus 1, and q, 1 over 3, 0, are intercepts for the line y equals 3x minus 1, while points r, minus 11, 0, and s, 0, minus 1, 1 over 3, are intercepts for the line y equals minus x over 3 minus 1, 1 over 3. The figure shows both lines in the same graph. We have the following shown on screen. The graphs confirm the results obtained in the analytical form, as it is evident that the two lines are perpendicular. That is all for lesson 14.4.3. To continue this tutorial please watch, 14.4.4, Finding the Intercept of Two Perpendicular Graphs. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. For more information, calculators, and tutorials, please visit www.icalculator.com.